In this video, I'm going to show you the local side of Peshawar so you can see what it's really like. Just follow the car. What if you're trying to turn one way? What if you're at a crossroads? Just follow, just follow the car. Let's go right away. Like, I thought Lahore was bonkers. This, this is a different level. Dust in my eyes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this must be the appliances street. Dishwashers. What else? Washing machines. Fans, I could do with the fan here right now. There's loads of different shops there with loud speakers. But why do they sell them? Good thing they have a sound. Is that what it's for? Yeah. It's not just to like speak to your friend because it's so noisy here. <laughs> but seriously, I, I, think, I think we need one in here. Here. You can't hear me. You can speak like that. <laughs> Hello? Yes, please. <laughs> Very noisy in the shower. I always thought it was Peshawar until I arrived here. Peshawar? It's not Peshawar, it's a Peshawar. Yeah, Peshawar. I know, it's that bad. All these busy streets made for thirsty work, so we went to meet Raji's friend Kauza in a rather lovely hidden cafe. So, um... We are going down another little alleyway. Oh, here we go. What have we got down here? What have we got in here? You can also be in the This is the oldest uh, soft drinks shop in Peshawar. Really? Oh, look. Look at this. Wow. What would you like to have? The picture is from the British Army time. You can see the British Army. It's a couple of kids. That is terrible for it. What's this place called? What's, it called? What's, it called? What's the name of this place? It's called Taj Soda Water. Touch soda, this name of the soda house. Soda house. Soda house. Soda house. And this is Stone Killer Street. Kiss a funny little outside. Oh, it's amazing. Lemon. Your lemon will not Nice. Let's try it. Taj soda water. Here you go. Carbonated water. Very nice. Established around, I think, 1936. Uh, it basically sells lovely soft drinks and it's packed with history, I love it. Something that I discovered about uh, Peshawar, which I'm really interested in, is that it uh, was a major player on the uh, Silk Road, the old Silk Road. And having been to Uzbekistan and been to Bukhara and Samarkand, it's great to visit another city uh, that, was, that was absolutely on that road. Now in here, this is the site of an old, um, like, a, like a kind of stopping point uh, where the travellers used to stay. You can see all the rooms around the edge. They used to apparently tether the camels down here and then go up there and spend the night before continuing their journey. Yeah, look at how old it is. It's amazing, really, how long it's lasted. Look at the wood. It's a few couple of hundred years couple old. It's amazing. Mughal, maybe Mughal period. It looks like a tourist. Yeah. It looks like a tourist. Yeah. Uh, this Hello. is uh, our friend. Hi. He's from Chitral. Chitral. Oh, from Chitral. Chitral. He, he has been a very long term resident of this area. Right. So he makes vest coats. He oh, uh, stitched them. And at night time sleep here. Yeah. This room very old for him. Yeah. Wow. Look at this, yeah, making yeah. the waistcoats. You can feel the history here, you know. You really can. And what does he make the waistcoats the waist from? Coat. What so material? It's like a chitral head they make, you know, like old. old. Yeah. Oh, wool? Yeah, is it old. wool? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So Good for winter. Chitral head, they all make in the wood like this. Yeah. yeah. In one of chitral This guy Prince is great, except I have no clue what he's talking about. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, little kitties. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. What are you doing? Cats. 
following me. I can't believe there were 115 rooms here. I'm just it's a very huge, you know. Yeah, it's massive. I mean, it must just go well, off into the go this distance. way to see the, 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 the gate specially built for the camels because okay. the neck of the size of the camel is a bit higher. Yes. So they kept in mind. Camels are a bit tall. Let's see where the camel stayed. They look like a ship on the road. This is the camel ship. What's that? This is the upper portion, you know, for yeah. the wheel. And this is wow. for uh, skylight and ventilation. Yes. And this, you see, is specially built for the camels oh, to enter, wow. you know. They used to come in through there. Yeah. They needed a bit of a tall arch. Yes, yes, yes tall arch. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hadith, Fiqh, yeah. and uh, Islamic yeah. jurisprudence. Yeah. Is it only religious books? Here? Only Quranic religious books. Okay. Uh -huh. All madrasa people, religious students, they come here buy books. Like master, doctorate, and it's not. Wow. wow. All religious people. What's this street called? It's called Mahal Jangi. Mahal Jangi. Dry fruits come mostly from Afghanistan uh -huh. and some from tribal, uh, from uh -huh. uh, Chitral and Gigi. Oh, wow. oh. Big market. Look at all these dry fruits. Wow. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Wow, it's great. So many spices and um, dried fruits. Oh, it's dried fruits. Ah, pistachio. Chocolate. I like pistachio nuts. Ah, thank you. Do you want to pick her up? My dad. Oh, all the way around. Ready, smile. Where are you? Thank you. Nice. Okay. Oh. It's yeah. not as a boy card. Hang on. I need to put this out here for my staff up. You just have to memorize. You just have to memorize. Yeah. You just have, I think with Peshawar, you just have to memorize what section you're in. Yeah. If you're in the fruit section, that's fine. If you're in the kitchen, place, then you can just kind of work out where to go. This is not changing much. Oh, look at this. What are we selling here? Well, we're selling household things. Household. Waters. Yeah, household. Perfume. Perfume. Like in this more or less is real sugar cane. Yeah, oh yeah, so we're in the vegetable section now. It's like, it's like being in a supermarket, but we've got different aisles. And each aisle sells something different. Just on a street instead of in a in a building. It feels like sneezing. Those spices. Here we go. Potatoes, onions, garlic. Got it all here. You know, if I was good at cooking, if I was out, I've got something in my toe. Hang on a minute. Oh, ouch. If I was good at cooking, we run away. It's good. Right. Oh, look, we're diving down another alleyway. That's what I like about the shower. It's quite exciting. There we go. As we made our way through the vegetable market and with the evening drawing in, my time in Peshawar was running out, so we quickly whizzed over to a beautiful and very historical landmark. I've just come to the Mohabbad Han Mosque. Uh, it's late at night, sadly. I wish I'd seen it in the day. Um, the, 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 the artwork on the walls looks just incredible. Um, I'm trying to take a video of it, but it is quite dark. They've put the lights on just for us to have a look, which is amazing. Uh, and it's quite nice just walking around, there's no one here, and seeing all the books piled up on the sides. It's so pretty, and it's really old as well. Something that Pakistan has in abundance, beyond incredible landscapes, is incredible history. And it was a real pleasure discovering some of it for myself. Oh, do you know what? I have to come back to Peshawar. I haven't had enough time here. Uh, I'm really pleased I came because it's, it's made me realise that I want to come back. This place is gorgeous. After visiting the mosque, I went back to my hotel, got changed and headed out for dinner. Tonight, because it's quite late and we want something quick, we're going to go, um, we're going to go for Afghan, Afghan food. Seeing as we're so close to Afghanistan, why not? Won't you? <laughs> 
Everyone's very friendly. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Afghan nun. Wow. Uh, this no, is a small massive. size. They have one oh. meter, two meter. You're then, yes, yes, yes. Um, very nice. Very, very good. <laughs> you could ride some waves with them. <laughs> <laughs> like a surfing yeah, board, like a you surfboard. know? <laughs> yeah, totally. It's huge. Like massive. Right, we're arriving, I think, at the Afghan place now. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Oh, nice. Yeah, looks great. I'm up for Afghan. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Navigating our way in. It's a bit more chilled out here, which is nice. Is it, is it okay? With yeah, I'm, I'm happy if you're happy. Is he happy? Yeah. yeah. All right. oh, we go upstairs, he's saying. What's this? Or up, or up there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Fans are blowing. <laughs> Waiting to see what delights we've got. There was a big barbecue outside. Quite lovely. Nice. Let's go. 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 Let's Afghani yeah, Palau. Most to Afghanistan. And yeah. we get more Palau than yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm not <laughs> I haven't really eaten since about half eight this morning, so this this is gonna be lush. Well this is the pull out. Mm. The Afghan pulao is like sweet it's got a sweet taste it's not spicy at all it's got like these raisins or sultanas in and a carrot slightly cooked carrot it's soft as well it's really nice next up the grilled meats landed looking gorgeous but i had to address something incredible that i'd spotted on prince's hand first that is an amazing ring that you have on your hand, by the way. This, this, look at this. <laughs> that, that, is, that is amazing. I mean, was it even a ring? It could have been a pizza cutter. It looks like a shield. Like a shield from a Marvel movie. <laughs> the prince was certainly well prepared for any possible skewer accidents, that's for sure. Who needs a force field? Right, sorry, where was I? The meat. Right, moment of truth. Mm. That was so soft. The grilled meat was perfect. The rice was so fluffy. And it's exactly what I needed after an incredibly long day. I'll tell you what I really struggle with, and that is sitting cross legged. So everyone's cross legged. See? I just can't do it. Honestly, how do people sit? How do people sit cross-legged? I can't do it. Before I go to bed, we're going to have some green tea. I'm here with Prince. I've lost Raji and his friend. But we're just hanging out. <laughs> Hello, good day. We just got to find out which shop they're in for our green tea. Look at this. Okay. Right, we're going back. We're doing a U turn. Just about to get squashed. Look at this. <laughs> Mind your toes. So, um,. Yeah, but I don't know where they went. I just, we were chatting away. Prince and I were chatting away. Are they at? Ah, oh, that's so cool. Smoking hashish. Smoking hashish up there. Sounds like I need some of that just to chill out. It's bonkers. I'm not used to busy cities. I live in a city. But when you're really tired, it's quite full on. Right, are they around here then? They're now. 
Shoes off again. Oh, green tea going on. Wow. Hot, 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 hot. Look at this. Right, here we go. Look. Green tea at the ready. See? Thank you, Shukran. Right, here we go. Green tea going in. Oh, it's lovely. It's sweet. It's lovely. It's sweet. That's for cardamom. Is that cardamom? Cardamom. It's actually not as heavy as chai. I mean, I love my chai, I love my chai, but this is really nice. That guy must be boiling that there. Can you imagine? Seriously hot. I'm really ready for bed now. Full belly, evergreen tea. Anyway, over and out from me.